here, so I'm just going to be filming this back to school video. This is basically for picture day. These are just going to be some tips for you, basically makeup wise, when planning or when doing your makeup for picture day. I hope you guys like this tutorial and let me know in the comments below your most embarrassing school photo ever or just any school photo memory down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I love you all. Mwah. So first, using Benefits Erase Paste, I'm going to be using this peachy concealer to correct, well, corrector, haha, <laughs> there you go, to correct my under eye dark circles, especially for pictures. It's going to really brighten up the eye area and get rid of all your dark circles. Since I ran out of my Makeup Forever HD foundation, I'm going to be using my Revlon Colorstay foundation just because it has a low SPF, which is really essential when taking pictures. And here I'm going to be buffing this into my skin to create a flawless and airbrush look with my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki brush, which is seriously my favorite brush ever. And to stay as matte as possible, especially for pictures, I'm just going to be dusting the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder all over my face. And with Anastasia's brow powder, I'm going to be filling in my brows to define them so they look a little bit more cleaner and more precise, especially for pictures, as I've been saying over and over again, and then setting them so that they just stay in place up until picture time. To add more life to our face, we're going to be bronzing up with this angled contour brush from Sigma. So with this round precision brush from Sigma and this eyeshadow base in Persuade, I'm going to be using this to use as a base for my eyes. I love this eyeshadow base just because it really um, gets rid of the veins in my eyes and it really makes my eyeshadow look so flawless. And the best part is I also have 15% off for this brush and these eyeshadow bases. You guys can check out the rest of the information down below. And yeah, so back to school 15% off is pretty good. Using my MAC 217 brush and Velvet Revolver from Too Faced, I'm going to be applying this all over my lids. And like I usually do, I'm going to be taking MAC Soft Brown and using the same brush to apply this as a transition color on the outer parts of my eye, as well as Naked Lunch, also from MAC, and applying this on the first half of our lids, this is going to be the only shimmer we're using in the look. Adding a little bit more depth to the eyes, I'm going to be using MAC Swiss Chocolate on the outer parts of our eyes. And don't forget to blend! And after that, define your eyes with a liquid liner and kind of wing it out if you want. And then I'm going to be applying my Maybelline Colossal Volume Stress Mascara as well as some false eyelashes to my top and bottom lashes. No, my top lashes. There you go. And then applying mascara on the top and bottom as well as using this Bare Minerals Locked and Coated Mascara Coating to prevent any mascara from running or falling throughout the day because you don't know when you're going to be taking pictures. And then finally, with this blush, this is Dolly Mix from MAC and applying this just to add a little bit more of color that the camera can sort of wash out as well as this NYX soft matte lip cream in Antwerp to, um, which is really just going to create more color on your lips to look a bit more livelier and there you go so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please let me know in the comments below your most embarrassing school photo or just most embarrassing moment in school. How about that? Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay updated by following me on Instagram at ChristinaRose2141 for different makeup posts and just different things such as some awkward selfies as this one. <laughs> there you go. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to follow me on Twitter at ChristinaRose0x.